नमस्कार टू ऑल माई ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स इन इंडिया टूडे आई एम हियर टू टेल यू वाई नरेंद्र मोदी इज द वर्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर फॉर इंडिया एवर इन इंडियन हिस्ट्री नरेंद्र मोदी हैव स्वोन एज अ प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया इन द इयर 2014 फोर्टीन एंड टिल टूडे विच इज सिक्स एंड हाफ इयर्स नरेंद्र मोदी हैव डिस्ट्रॉयड अ कंट्री वेरी ब्यूटली विद इज रॉट एंड गवर्नेंस फ्रॉम द डे टू कोवर इज पी एमओ ऑफिस टिल टूडे विच इज सिक्स एंड हाफ इयर्स there were 100 plus performing companies are running into losses just because of this immature governance i'm going to talk about major companies which are running into losses just because this is immature governance of narendra modi india is in debt of 500 billion dollars vodafone is in loss with 50000 crores airtel is in loss with 23000 crores bsnl is in loss with 14000 crores mtnl is in loss with 755 crores bpcl is in loss with 750 crores sail is in loss with 286 crores Air India is in loss with four thousand six hundred crores. SpiceJet Airlines is in loss with four sixty three crores. Indigo Airlines is in loss with thousand sixty two crores. BHL is in loss with two nineteen crores. India Post is in loss with fifteen thousand crores. GMR Infra is in loss with five sixty one crores. S Bank is in loss with six hundred crores. Union Bank is in loss with eleven hundred and ninety crores. Punjab National Bank is in loss with four thousand seven fifty crores. Axis Bank is in loss with one hundred twelve crores. JP Group is totally finished. Videocon is bankrupt. Airtel and Docomo is a bankrupt. Jet Airways is totally closed. Five airports have been sold out to the India's richest man comes from Gujarat. His name is Adani. Indian railways are on sale today. Heritages, including Redfort, are renting. Many banks are merged and the branches are closed. Huge number of ATM rooms are shut down. All the banks incurring huge losses today. 36 largest debitors have crossed our country from the day Narendra Modi took over PM office. Few corporates, 2.4 lakhs crores of loans have been waived off to the rich people, not to the poor people, and not to the farmers. Unfortunately, BSNL, 54,000 jobs have been laid off, and they are planning to cut more jobs in BSNL. Auto industry, 1 million jobs will be laid off very soon. Maruti cuts production at all, which is India's production brand. 55000 crores inventory cars lying at factories with no buyers at all 12.76 lakhs houses unsold in 30 major cities builders committing suicide no buyers construction stopped due to the mad cost raise of gst at 18% to 28% ccd founder you all know coffee day founder vg siddhartha committed suicide just because of this brutal governance hall has no money to play pay employee salaries Biscuit companies are terminating their employees. ONGC, most profitable company in India, is now making into losses. Millions of unemployment, um, uh, millions are unemployed due to the demonetization. Highest unemployment rate ever recorded in the last 45 years of Indian history, and nothing is shown in Indian media. Indian media is brutally sold out to Modi and Shah. And today we talk about India, Make in India, and all that. And I'm going to tell you who is doing Make in India today. Prime Minister comes from Gujarat, Home Minister comes from Gujarat, BJP Chief comes from Gujarat, CBI Chief comes from Gujarat, RBI Chief comes from Gujarat, Anil Ambani is a Gujarati, Mukesh Ambani is a Gujarati, Nirav Modi is a Gujarati, Mehul Chowdhury is a Gujarati, Lalit Modi is a Gujarati. Majority of the bank robbers comes from Gujarati, and majority of the contractors comes from Gujarat. And this is the history of our India. And today, Modi followers still talk about Hindutva. Ram Mandir, Article 370, bombing Pakistan, bombing China. We Indians need employment. We Indians need to reduce poverty. We Indians need to raise our GDP. We Indians need to make sure our India is topping the chart and competing with all other countries. Let's educate ourselves and make sure we don't vote for Modi and save our India from Modi and BJP Shah. Jai Hind.